If you want to learn about blockchain online, there's not many courses you can follow. Basically, uh, you have to go on YouTube, Twitter in order to start acquiring different materials. But there's one course on Coursera which get, gives you all the basics uh, needed to start. Uh, things such as how blockchain works, what is uh, incentive for miners of Ethereum, what are smart contracts, how to build a smart contract and even uh, how to use Truffle, one of the uh, environments for uh, building the smart contracts and then deploying them. So it's really, really cool. Uh, the blockchain specialization, I will give the link down below. Uh, that's the specialization offered by University at Buffalo plus State University of New York. It's currently the most popular one about blockchain on Coursera. Uh, it has a 4.6 rating out of 6,000, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, it's a, the, the basic things you will learn is understanding smart contracts, core idea and computational model of blockchain that enables automation, autonomy, scalability and transparency, uh, understanding and working knowledge of blockchain, uh, how to design and program smart contracts uh, and DApps, decentralized applications, how to think of innovative application models leveraging the blockchain technology. So it's really for the beginners, you can really start from scratch, not knowing anything about coding, not knowing anything about blockchain. Uh, basically, it covers everything from uh, what are the cryptographic basics to uh, how actually you code a smart contract, what is a smart contract, how it all works with this blockchain thing. Uh, so it's really cool uh, and it's perfect for anyone who wants to get on, uh, get an understanding of blockchain in order to build some cool stuff or start working at a company who does that. Uh, so yeah, so this is the, this, uh, this specialization has uh, four courses, uh, basically the, the basics, uh, the smart contracts, decentralized apps and blockchain platforms. Uh, so I'm going to go through each one of those. Basically each one of those has pretty high uh, ratings. It's really, you can go also one by one. Uh, the cool thing is uh, you can really enroll for free uh, because if you click on enroll after logging in, then basically you will have the option to audit the course. And if you click on audit down below, then basically you'll be able to just go through the videos and see if it's for you or not. You won't get a certificate, uh, but you'll be able to at least see all the videos and see if that, that's knowledge for you or not. Uh, so that's really cool because in the end, if you want a certificate in order, for example, to get a job later on and show your potential uh, employer that you know uh, more stuff about blockchain then basically you will need to pay uh, for the course uh, for a particular course or for the specialization as a whole uh, so yeah going uh, going down uh, basically it's a, a couple of weeks of learning uh, each week is basically a couple of videos together with readings and quizzes and this is the general structure for Coursera which is pretty cool that that works fine uh, you can always find time uh, to, to go through the video and answer a couple of questions. Uh, so it's really cool. So the first specialization is really explaining what is blockchain, then having examples of Ethereum blockchain where you will be constructing smart contracts later on. Um, so you have a bunch of things and different algorithm techniques for, for hashing. So this is the basics of cryptography used in a blockchain. Uh, if you go down, then basically everything uh, ends with a trust, consensus, and so on. Uh, so this is the first course, four weeks, a uh, couple of videos for each uh, week. Uh, it's really light on the material, but you will get a lot of knowledge going through that. The second course is about uh, smart contracts, uh, part of blockchain specialization, as you can see, and it goes more into how you actually uh, create smart contracts, how to deploy them. So the first week is again, uh, the structure is the same, couple of videos, reading, quizzes, and you get the knowledge its way. Uh, so the first thing is basically how you uh, define smart contracts. Then you have uh, a, a think about R Remix IDE, which is basically this uh, internet way to deploy smart contracts directly on Ethereum uh, mainnet or test nets. Uh, then a couple of things related to the, uh, to the storage. Uh, then you have more explanation of Solidity, 
so Solidity is the language for, uh, for coding smart contracts, uh, which is pretty cool. As you can see, our goal is to master the basics of Solidity, a high-level language that is a combination of JavaScript, Java, and C++. It is especially designed to write smart contracts and to target the Ethereum virtual machine. Learners will be able to follow demonstration and practice using Solidity. The cool thing is that EVM, or Ethereum virtual machine, is just the general term uh, of building the, the smart contracts in a, and blockchains in a very specific way. And it not only applies to Ethereum, but to all the layers too, like Arbitrum, uh, Optimism, uh, and also to other chains. So for example, Binance Smart Chain is also e an EVM. So all the things you learn here about the Solidity will apply to Binance as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, so going forward, uh, putting it all together, uh, you will have uh, different things for uh, actually creating a smart contract. Uh, your first one, uh, then there's a video about best practicing, uh, best practices for uh, evaluating smart contracts and stuff like that. So that's the course number two. Course number three is about decentralized applications. So you will use your knowledge uh, just gotten from the previous course about smart contracts to actually build something cool. And uh, you will use a Truffle IDE, a smart contracts, a simple web client and a MetaMask client to uh, create your first decentralized application. Basically, this is the, the explain what the decentralized application. Uh, and then you will have Truffle, which is this environment for uh, basically developing and testing a, a, a decentralized app. Uh, so there's the whole week about uh, Truffle. Then there's design improvements week. And finally, uh, there is uh, different, uh, th th this is a week about uh, standard tokens. So ERC20 for standard token and ERC721 uh, uh, for non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Uh, so you'll be going through all that uh, in this course. Finally, the last course is about blockchain platforms. Uh, so this is a course about the, the more general ecosystem, things like Hyperledger, uh, and a bunch of other things. So uh, this this course is mo mostly about different applications, as you can see. Uh, so for example, Hyperledger, Fabric, uh, Composer, Microsoft Azure. Uh, the, the, there's a whole week about Augur and Grid Plus, uh, and a bunch of challenges at the very end related to things like, for example, Multisig, that's super important, uh, and uh, alternative decentralized solutions. That's the last uh, thing. So IPFS and how to basically store files uh, online on a decentralized uh, data storage uh, or cloud. Uh, so really cool. This, this course is really great for all the people that want to get uh, their exposure to blockchain and are looking for a course which would give you all the information at least to start with. So blockchain is still like super new, you know, like it started 2008 basically, may maybe before if you start counting different papers uh, coming before that. Uh, but it's really a new domain and there's still not enough material to start learning in a like this very uh, way which all the things are known because everything is going on, the research is going on, people are still uh, working on different tools, on different environments. So the good thing here, here is that it's, uh, basically getting this knowledge will allow you to jump into the, the newest research being done pretty quick, pretty fast and after doing your projects on your own you'll be able to uh, get a job on the web free company. Probably uh, yeah, the, the best way is generally just to be practical about testing different uh, different skill sets related to coding. Uh, as in any coding job, be that data science, uh, software engineering, uh, machine learning engineering, the best skill uh, is acquired through practice and you have to practice a lot in order to understand all the concepts. So that's what I'm recommending. So yeah, check the, check the course down below, I will give the link. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode.